stress. Here, here. Um, in the, I'm sorry, I've got too many. It's okay. Uh, Women's 3K champion, 22nd PB. So, what are you expecting today? Thanks for saying that, Canadian, by the way. <laughs> um, I came in hoping to run a PB. My previous PB was uh, 912 from this meet three years ago. So, that was a subpar performance, and I knew that if I could get close to nine minutes, I'd be really happy today. So, I knew we were under at each of the kilometer splits. I didn't pay attention to any of the splits or anything like that other than the 1K marks. Um, and I just felt really good. and. My coach and I came into this knowing that it was going to be a tough field and these women are really strong. So the goal was just to cover moves as they were made and uh, be tough when it starts to hurt because that's what it takes to be a solid 3K, 5K runner. So I come from a mile background, so this is stepping up a bit in distance for me, but I knew I was fit and strong. I put in a really good base of work this fall, so I knew I was ready for something good. It's just this was a bit, a bit of a surprise, so I'm really happy. <laughs> um, yeah, that was tough. Honestly, with about 600 to go, I thought, man, if I could just hold on to her and have her pull me to a fast time, I'll be really happy because she's a workhorse and one of the toughest women on the track. So um, I, I really I got uh, diagnosed with an autoimmune disease about a year and a half ago that causes inflammation in my pelvis. So I, was, I didn't run really. I didn't train very much for about two years. And, uh, but what came out of that um, as a positive was that we learned a lot about form and biomechanics. So more than ever in this race, I was really focused on just keeping the stride quick and dynamic. And um, rather than when I was younger, kind of reaching and fighting for positions in time, I feel like I just am able to flow a lot more now. So I'm turning 30 this year, and it's nice that it's finally starting to click. <laughs> Uh, no, but I had to go for it if I was going to go. <laughs> um, again, she's an incredible runner, and she's a, comes from a steeple background, so I knew she was strong as a horse. Um, she definitely did a little more work than I did, leading those um, whatever it was six laps on her own. So um, I thought if I had, if I was going to go, that was the time, and I thought she might come back, but I had to give it a shot. So I'm glad I did. What's next up for you? Um, this was the uh, end of my indoor season actually for this year. I just did three races, all of them here. Love the armory. I'm going to go home. I train out of Toronto, so get back with my coaches, Dave Reed and Eddie Raposo, and just uh, put in a really solid training block. I'll probably go up to Flagstaff in April um, for its miles two training and get ready for the outdoor season. So. Yeah. I don't mean any offense at all by this, but you sound like you're like, you know, you've lost five laps or so. Is that, do you ever feel any like, sort of guilt as an athlete just sitting on her and then just blowing her? Oh, yeah, for it? sure. Um, I think the thing is, we've all been in both positions. So, a good example is last week I ran the mile here at the Armory Invite, and no disservice to her, she ran a smart race, but Charlene Lipsy hunted me down for five laps because I went with the rabbit when no one else would. I did all the work up front, and ultimately she beat me. So, um, at the end of the day, races are tactical, and uh, I think that sharing the work is important. I think that's probably a bigger deal when you're on the roads and trying to work together over a longer distance. Um, you've got to know yourself as an athlete. Stephanie knows she's strong, and I know I'm fast. And so it's to my advantage to let someone else do a bit of the work, knowing that if I had done that work, I probably would have blown up. So kudos to her. She ran a smarter and stronger race than I did. I just had a little bit left of the 100 to go. So, yeah. Good question. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so my coach and I had this little theme this year of uh, a code word for each race. So uh, the first one was uh, don't be, because I said I'm really nervous. It's my first indoor race in three years. And he's like, don't be. Put that on, put that on your body somewhere. So I put it on my wrist. And then last race, he said, going into it, he said, do you think you can run a little bit faster and do a little bit better than last time? And I said, yes. And he said, put that on your body somewhere. So I wrote the word yes. And today he just said, don't worry, be happy. So I put don't worry on my wrist. And uh, I think it sounds corny, but I've faced a lot of adversity in the last two years. And I've gotten to a point in my career now where I just want to enjoy this, work really hard, but have a lot of fun. And I lost sight of that for a long time. So I'm starting to rediscover the, the fun element in it. So it's been a good journey so far. Thank you. Nice race today.